All right, I figured we'll try the East Seal one first. Which is? Which is the possible location of the very first. The one over by the railroad tracks. No, the one by the railroad tracks, I, that one, or do you want to go to that one first? Because... It don't matter to me. I was thinking we'd probably go do the one by the railroad tracks or where the railroad station is now that we think where it is now. Uh-huh, and so. then go, because one of these are Pioneer. And one of these would be the absolute first Sela Cemetery. So whichever's fine. Whichever's fine. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna try and eventually. I have a new list here, so we're gonna try and eventually mark out the cemeteries that are no longer existing. See if we can't do that eventually. And that's what we're hoping to do today. Yes. But we can at least get a picture of where it used to be. Yeah. And where the other one used to be. And hopefully, it's not a Starbucks. <laughs> we'll go get gas and then we'll head on the road. Let's go. So this is where we're at right now. I don't know if everybody can see this stuff right here. We'll go in a little bit. But showing here on the little dot right there, that's where we're supposed to be. And this is us, the little arrow right here. But look around us where we're at. We're in a bunch of, well, pretty much uh, warehouses. Warehouses. <laughs> warehouses for fruit and there's a water treatment center back here. So we're gonna try to keep going north and get close parallel to the little indicator on our map. Although it looks like mostly we're in. I don't think we're going to be able to get close to it simply because this is all like, you know, treetop warehouse. Yeah. It's all been built up over the years for sure. See if I look back over there, it's almost parallel to it. So I think if I go over here and then try to go that direction, Maybe we can get back Well, there is a the road warehouse. over there. So I just saw cars going that way. I don't so. believe where we're at on the map. It's saying it's directly to the east of us. Oh, boy. So if I go over here. <laughs> <laughs> Arriving at coordinates. Well. Hang on. Let me, let me try to get us on the, exactly on the pinpoint mark here. Because okay. <laughs> is this alleyway? Is it? Okay, my bad. My finger was in the wrong place. Okay, so I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit farther. Because we're gonna do our damnedest to get us exactly on these coordinates. Okay, yes. now it says it's back. Look at this. This is supposed to be the first cemetery in Sela. Now, as the story now goes, it's, it's directly to the left, and we're like so close to it that we just drive <laughs> just a few places. Yeah. Look, it's gonna be right over here. It's gonna be the alleyway, isn't it? No. It's basically this building. Watch. I'm gonna back up. Get this. See it? Watch me backing up. Now watch how it moves. Okay. Getting closer. Getting closer. Okay. So we're straight lined right there. Okay. Right. Hang on. Over here in front okay, of the door. Over here. <laughs> Get in the shade. Oh. I'm not blinking and okay so, so behind this door <laughs> behind this door somewhere behind this door 
would be the first cemetery in Sela. Now the story goes that it was owned by McAllister Land and that they sold the land to build a railroad station. Um, since the railroad's right there, I'm presuming that at one time this might have been the railroad station. Um, the, there was only three bodies that are even listed anymore as being on that cemetery, but there were quite a bit more bodies buried there at the time. But they just kind of blown it over, put cement down, and this is what we have today. <laughs> so, as everybody can see, there no longer exists a cemetery here when in fact this was the location yes. <laughs> of the very first cemetery in Sela, Washington. Yep. Alright, so where are we going next? Okay, the next one we're going to is kind of a question mark because it, it's marked as East Sela and uh, there's really no information that we know about it. it. I mean, it's a surprise to me because there's only ever that I know of been two Sela cemeteries listed. Of course, there could be Flint. this could be somebody's family plot because there were a lot of family plots back then. But this is the most extensive list that I've had so far for the Yakima Valley. Okay, so we're going to be looking over here to the left. Oh, there we go. There's some dead horses out there. <laughs> Are they dead or just not? <laughs> I don't think that's a horse. I think that's a llama. Oh, it is a llama, isn't it? Well, I couldn't tell from over here. Whatever it is, it looks dead. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is where the cemetery's listed. So there's our marker right there. Can you see that? So we're almost parallel to it right now. Let me mm -hmm. move this thing over here a little bit. So according to the GPS, we will be facing it over there. So I'm going to pull yonders. forward a little bit okay. until we're parallel with it. Okay, so according to GPS... This house? <laughs> On the other side of the trailer house, I presume. Let me turn around real quick. Oh. Okay, beach. If we were to guess, we would have to go just slightly behind or on the property of the, where this trailer is at right here to find the next cemetery, and that just says East Sela. Just says East Sela, and that's where we're at right now. So. But that one, did that ever even have a name? I don't know if it ever had a name, because a lot of these, I know that some of them have names that are not listed, like the one for Yakima is Tahoma. Okay. The one for Terrace Heights is obviously Terrace Heights one. Um, the Cowichi, I think, is a Cowichi Natchez. The Natchez one is just Natchez. A, a lot of these that are listed the way they are are either surnames of a family or the, like this one, Elliott Avenue. It's somewhere on Elliott Avenue, we presume. A lot of these don't have names. A lot of these have some names that are strange and I have no idea where they are. And yeah, it's going to take a little more research on some of these. Um, some of the bigger ones, like the Union Gap would is Pioneer Cemetery. Uh, the one listed as Parker would be what they call the Union Gap Cemetery, even knowing it isn't the Union Gap. So yeah, the list I have is probably more than likely a lot of these are surnames or family graves, graveyards that were picked up. So over this the one years. never really had an, like a name, like you know, the Sela Cemetery yeah. or. Not Whatever. that I'm aware of. The only one, the only two in Sela, I would like I said, this one was kind of a, a guess because well, these the are the, these are the ones we didn't even know that this one existed until yeah. we found the GPS coordinates for it. Yeah, we knew that the one over there by the railroad, well, basically the warehouse by the railway over there, treetop. Yeah, we knew that that one existed. We just didn't know where it was at, and we kind of joked that it was you know underneath a Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> that was our big joke. It's, we, it's we weren't the that Starbucks. far off. No, <laughs> it's underneath it an, an apple. apple juice place, yeah. but yeah, exactly. So. So we figured out where that one's at. We figured out where this one's at now, but we can't go even get anywhere close to that one because it's private property. And it probably, for all we know, they don't even know it was there yeah. at one time. So maybe we should just not tell them that they're living <laughs> on top of dead people. Yeah. Okay, so we found another one on our way home. Uh, this is now the American Gas from Propane Gas Company here. But this at one time was the Fruitville Cemetery. 
and I know there was quite a few bodies buried here. Most of them were distributed elsewhere, but there's only six that are listed that were that they actually have names for at this place. But um, it looks like once again the railroad took one out to uh, to use as a cold storage facility, and this is what's left of that one. So. As you can see, there's nothing here anymore. <laughs> we'll walk <laughs> over here a bit. So according to the GPS device, uh, what we're looking at basically is right about, uh, let's see here, go across the tracks. GPS coordinates is pointing us right about here. So kind of right where that uh, piece of railroad rail is right there it's right about where it needs to be so there used to be a cemetery like right in this area right here and it didn't have a name it just had it just listed as Fruitvale cemetery so okay well apparently the railway wanted this property and uh as they did many around here so did they ever uh did they remove the bodies or did they move them somewhere else they said they were moved most of them were moved it says most of them most of them um, so I'm presuming some of them that probably didn't have family, didn't know what to do with them, they just railroaded over them, so to speak. <laughs> so basically another lost cemetery. Yep, another lost cemetery in the Yakima Valley. And this is all that's left of it. <laughs> just the railroad. Railroad tracks. <laughs>